Okay, second video of Traxxas T-Max third channel remote start setup. First video was just an overview, a silent overview. This one I'm actually gonna kind of explain a little bit on what I did. Now I changed the battery and what holds the battery from the first uh, from the first setup. Now I've got a soft pack. It's a little bit thinner, so it doesn't take up so much space up front. And I've got it held in with uh, an actual battery strap um, through the front shock tower. <clears throat> um, I have shaved down a little bit on those front bumper supports to give it a perch. Um, however, I did end up having to um, put screws into the lower part of the shock tower it being plastic, uh, was able to put screws into it to hold the back of the battery out away from the shocks. Um, I know this setup's a little unorthodox being that it's in the front. A lot of people are probably saying, oh my God, what are you doing? Because if you wreck it, hit something, you can blow it up. Well, this vehicle isn't exactly a basher anymore. This is more of a, well, it's just a go out to the park or out to the beach and just run it up and down a little bit. Not really do anything too crazy. It's more of a crowd pleaser now, so it doesn't really matter. I don't, uh, I haven't wrecked this thing in like five years. I, I don't drive it all crazy. But anyway, um, so yeah, holding the battery in up front. It's actually pretty secure, doesn't go anywhere. And uh, I got the wire coming down and then underneath the bumper supports it connects to an adapter which I've mounted here using a fuel line holder that holds two fuel lines and then there's another adapter that runs it to the Tamiya connector on this old-school easy start unit which what I've done, I've just screwed it to the back. There's a screw down there. Screwed it to the back of the battery case. I made sure that I did not uh, damage anything on the inside, the switch or the wiring. There's short screws, there's two of them. So it holds it there. Um, and then up front, well, what I have is a, uh, similar to uh, what's holding the air intake it's just a, a screwed in piece of metal wire that runs up so that's what I've got up in the front here and it just stands up and it doesn't allow it to go towards the servo so that brake lever stays clear and doesn't get binded then the uh, <clears throat> micro servo here doesn't have to be a strong one. All it's doing is just pushing that button. And the thing was like five bucks on eBay. Uh, I got the old school easy start module for like 10 bucks on eBay. Um, you know, battery, whatever. Um, and then I mounted it like this because the wiring comes out right here, right on the top of the battery box and uh, runs down and underneath the gas tank, which is where it connects to the harness to the, to the engine. So you can actually kind of grab that out and use um, the second generation easy start wand if you had to. And then, okay, so then it just hooks up to the easy start motor and I have it grounded to the uh, left side header screw and then there's the glow plug wire. Now that does go bad, so it is accessible right here to uh, disconnect it and replace just you know just this part here. So it's it's uh, incorporated pretty well, I think. It looks pretty clean. Um, you know nothing's piled on top of one another like I see a lot of. I mean, be as it may, you know you have to do that sometimes, but uh, this came out pretty nice and pretty easy to do. And you just use the uh, third channel. I took out reverse a long time ago, so I don't care about reverse. 
All right, so anyways, I can basically give a quick demonstration. This is always on because the battery isn't switched. I mean, you could put a switch in there if you want. I don't bother. I mean, I can unplug that right there. And, but uh, anyway, why would you want to have a switch on there? You just put this thing down, start it up. But uh, anyways, I will turn the remote on. Now that does enable the servo because of course the servo is connected to the uh, receiver so it, just, so it just does that easy enough there you go I'll show you and this battery's a little low so it's probably not going to start it anyway but you get the idea yep there you go